Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another beauty review for you all. And this time around I have the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer. Um, this is a thicker formula than their foundation apparently. I haven't tried their foundation before but I'm someone, if you're new to my channel and you don't sort of know my preferences for base makeup, I usually like cream bases um, and I prefer more pigmented products rather than more liquidy products, I guess. So the concealer definitely spoke to me um, and I tend to use concealer type products um, as full face foundation because you do get that wonderful coverage without things being too cakey. So I went and got the shade triple zero, which is actually the lightest shade. So it might be a little bit too light for me. I usually am either the lightest or second lightest shade in most shade ranges. So we're about to find out if this is a good shade match um, and if it's going to work for my skin. Now, I do have an acne situation going on at the moment. Um, I think it's just hormones at the moment and they've been going a bit crazy, um, which normally doesn't happen with me but i thought that this was an absolutely perfect time to try a product like this out so that's exactly what i'm going to do and i'm going to try with my new favorite uh brush for concealer which is the monica blunder beauty hybrid cream brush and i am going to just start applying down here and just see how we go in terms of the color and the coverage so let's get into it so i'm just I'm only taking a tiny, tiny amount on the brush, just a little bit, not too much. I always start really light and then build it up because once again, you don't want it to look too cakey. So let's get into it. Okay. So it is definitely covering some of the initial redness, which is great. Okay. It's not bad. Let me just give it another couple of taps. Just going to get a little bit more product and sort of work it out a little bit more out here as well. Give it a bit of a dab as well. Okay, yeah, that's working well for me. Nice. I like it. Yeah, that's looking good. Wow, that's definitely made a big difference to my skin from the way it was before. As you can see, I've still got the redness from my cheeks up here from where I haven't applied it. It's looking quite good down here. Now, in terms of the touch, very nice texture. It's a lot less oily than the Monica Blunder, Blunder cover that I tried the other day. But in saying that, it is less oily, but the coverage isn't as full, I would say. It's still really, really good though. Okay, just give it a bit more. I'm quite impressed with it. You do need a little bit more product, but I mean, compared to many other concealers on the market, I think that looks pretty darn good if you ask me. It's very, very soft to the touch. It doesn't, it's not transferring much product at all. That's looking really, really good actually. Love it. And I think the colour is not a bad match, actually. Might be just a touch too light for me, but I could definitely warm up my face with some bronzer and things like that. So I am just going to work on this redness that's on my cheek, which is very apparent, just for a demo. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. It's not bad at all. Definitely requires a little bit more effort once you get to the areas that have spots on them. You've got to sort of stipple it even more to get that product on. So you can see that area just above where I haven't applied any product and the area just below. Yeah, that's looking awesome. Once again, soft to the touch. It's not really transferring a lot of product even without setting it. It's pretty amazing, huh? I like it. Yeah, I think this is a success. Now, this product is a little bit on the expensive side. It's it's quite expensive. I can't remember the exact price. I forgot to check before I came on camera. 
sorry about that but it is a higher end product so you definitely need to have a little bit of coin if you're considering buying this um just a, just a little bit of coin not too much but um yeah it is obviously a higher end brand and you will have a higher end price this is actually my first time trying out rms beauty in general i think this is a great product i think that the grammage is quite good for this let me just double check where's the grammage might be on the bottom of it 5.67 grams which is actually pretty good for a concealer especially a solid one concealers can sort of range they can sometimes be as low as four grams up to eight grams so 5.67 grams is not too bad for the product that you're getting and considering that it's not a liquid concealer it's actually a solid so you're technically getting a lot more product i do think it's worth the money actually i really do i think that Cream products are definitely more worth your money and your time than liquid products. I wish I knew this years ago. Um, it's taken me a while to realize that cream products are the best for my type of skin as well, especially because my skin does have quite a bit of texture. Um, and I feel that liquid products just bring out texture. They crease. Uh, they just aren't good for me. And it takes a lot of product to build up and get that coverage. And then it becomes cakey very quickly. So, Look, I'm really, really pleased with this result. Um, even without setting it, I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I will be doing a video next that'll be setting this product and just seeing how it reacts to that. So stay tuned. I'll be trying out a, another product, a setting powder for you. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Have you tried this product? Have you tried other products from RMS Beauty? I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, do you think that this did a good job covering up my acne? I think it did a great job, uh, but I'm always open to other opinions. But yeah, until next time, take care and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.